What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through all of Route 119 and it did a lot. We did. And now we're here in front of the Weather Institute, and yes, something is afoot. There is a big foot around here, and you can hear the theme song. Something's going on. It's like, welcome to the Weather Institute. There seems to be some kind of disturbance on the second floor, but I'm a professional. I'm not easily rattled. Yeah, she's got the nerves of steel. Get yourself a girl like that, guys. Anywho, um, so apparently there is uh, something uh, going on right here, and that is Team Aqua. So what we're going to do first is we're going to be resting. And uh, we're going to be taking care of business right here. So, no, we're not going to be using Repel. First things first, I would like to take a look at something. Last episode, we caught ourselves two Tropiuses. And we both and we named them both. Uh, what was it? Tropicana. One was the first one, of course, at level 23, and it does have the ability Solar Power. So I kind of want to take a look at these uh, these moves that it has. So Solar Power boosts the special attack in, in a sunny weather, but it, its HP HP decreases. That right there is detrimental, but you know it's the best of both worlds right there. It has Sweet Scent, Stomp, Magical Leaf, and Whirlwind. As you guys can see, it's not the most physically uh, physically gifted uh, in defense, or actually on attack, but it does have other great attributes right here. Now, the next one, we got a rare level 33 Tropicana, or Tropius, and it does have Chlorophyll. This right here boosts the Pokemon's speed at the Sunshine. Its detriment happens to be defense, and its speed is through the roof right here. It's a much more evened out Pokemon, but it does have a very good move in Leaf Tornado. And, well, who knows, guys? We are probably thinking of switching up some Pokemon. Who knows? We will find out soon. Alrighty, so, let's go right ahead and take on Team Aqua because, well, they are a nuisance. And, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use Latias. Let's make Latias the, 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 the person in the show. The boss got interested in the research they have going on here, so he sent us out. Quit your meddling. Never. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on a Team Aqua Grunt, and he is coming out with a Mightyena. Yes, a Mightyena. Am I scared? No, no, I am not, because, well... Even though we got intimidated, we still have some pretty good moves right here, like, oh, I don't know, Dragon Breath. It could paralyze this Pokemon. And, oh, wow. It, like, it, I called it. It paralyzed this Pokemon. So, there we go. Let's get it. Okay, so that right there is a swagger. You're, you're basically helping us in the way. So, let's go right ahead and see if we can actually hit this guy. Yes, Dragon Breath for the win. Okay, and I know what you guys are thinking. I am not gonna waste that me <laughs> I'm not gonna waste that mega evolution on this guy right here. At this point, since we got the what you call it, um, since we got the the Keystone and a Mega Evolutionary Stone, these Pokemon trainers are peons. And yes, oh wow. So there we go, Swift Attack. And well, let's go right ahead and go with a Psycho Shift. And it missed. Holy crud. Okay, so I'm probably missing something here. Yeah, we're just letting this guy win. So, here we go. Miss Ball. That is its, uh... That is Latias' specialized move. And this Miss Ball does its trick. Say goodbye to Golbat. And bam! Level 34. Mm-hmm. And, well... Team Galactic, or Team Octo... Team, Team Aqua is just not happy right now. Which is okay. It's fine. So, let's see. We can we do have the choice of battling this guy, which, you know, we we will be battling him. I want all the smoke, guys. I really do. Okay. So, here we go. Taking on a Team Aqua Grunt yet again. And he is coming out with a Grimer right here. So, let's go. Let's get this Latias. And, well, now that we have Miss Ball right here. Miss Ball does its trick. Oh, yes. Latias taking care of business. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Shadow Eye is growing levels like nobody's business. And there you go. Your plans will be spoiled by me because, well, you know, I'm, I'm an asshole like that. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and see what else is going on. As you can tell, 
Could it be? Is this the world Archie hoped to create? Curse you! The precious results of my research. Give them back! Shut your mouth. Oh, wow, she smacked the crap out. She smacked them! Holy crud! Steady on. Are you alright? Fine. I'll give it back. I'll give it back, alright? The awakening of the super ancient Pokemon will bring about extreme weather. If this happened all over the world, what would become of the Pokemon? Not to mention people. I'm still surprised that she smacked the crap out of this dude. She smacked him pretty good. Holy buckets. Anywho. Back to the action right here. And, yes, we are taking another Team Aqua Grunt. Yes, they want all the smoke right here. Okay. Time to bring it. Let's go. Dragon Breath. For the win. And... Will it? Can it? Yes, it does. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, we're doing some pretty good stuff right here. And, uh... Well, let's go right ahead. And continue on right here with our good old buddy, Latias. Since, you know, we hardly, we hardly ever use this Pokemon right here. So... An Intimidate right there. So... Going with a Dragon Breath. And... Let's see. Dragon Breath paralyzes this one Pokemon. And, well, scary scary face. It's going to do something to us. Just slow us down just a little bit. So here we go. Another Dragon Breath for the win. And there you go. Mighty Mightyena defeated. Okay. Alrighty. So... That one is a victory for us right there. Let's see. So what's next right now? We got... I think we have a double battle. I want a double battle, but it looks like we're not getting a double battle. So here we go. Huh? What's a kid doing here? I am here to mess you up. Alrighty. So here we go. Taking on another team. Aqua Grunt. Female Grunt. And, well, this guy right here is coming out with a goal bat. Let's go right ahead and use another Miss Ball just to finish this guy off. So, Miss Ball for the win, and there goes Golbat. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, alrighty. So, that's another victory right there, and we get ourselves some more, some more money and some more, you know, some more stuff right here. Anywho, we are about to save the world, and... Mm, 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 mm. They did a very good job with their design. I'm, I'm just saying that. Oh my! I even run into you when I'm not on the clock. I wonder why that is. Maybe we're destined to be together. <laughs> if you want it to be, I will. I'm just saying. You know what? You know something? I'm feeling so empty and downhearted right now. I can't get my head straight. Um, help me take my mind off of it. The way you and your Pokemon battle so straightforwardly and sincerely with such hope, it makes me so mad. Ah. You don't say. Okay, so here it is, taking on Team Aqua Admin Shelly, and she is coming out with, yes, a Sharpedo. Okay, so this could be a problem, but we're going to go with a Dragon Breath. And that right there does us a little bit of good. Now, you thought that I was going to, you know, Mega Evolve right here. Not worth it, because, yeah, Sharpedo, still a very strong Pokemon. Even though I had it in Pokemon Emerald my last walkthrough, so, yeah. And I'm going to try and get out of this. Come on, use it. Yes! See? We're finally lucky. Giggity. And there you go. Okay, alrighty. So, that is a victory for us, and Latias grows to level 35. And... Shedley has been defeated. She's like so tired out. Yeah, you should be tired. Okay, so she's not liking this. She's like, hmm, I feel a little bit more relaxed. Thanks. As a token of my gratitude, I'll tell you one thing. When Team Aqua's, no, when the illustrious Archie's ambitions have been realized, the world will truly return to its beginnings to before the birth of anything at all. Think, your, uh, think for yourself about what to do when you're up against the reality. I, w I still haven't figured out for myself what's wrong and what's right. See ya. I'm sure I'll run into you again, though. Hmm. Yes. We will run into each other again. She's looking so fine. Anywho, um, she's saying Archie is probably on his way to Mount Pyre, so I... And she's walking away. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see. 
We've helped everybody, and this guy is going to be like, Thank you, young one. You helped save us from quite a pinch. You okay there, mate? <laughs> Truly was a slap in the face. Those thieves! What could they hope to gain by investigating the extreme weather patterns of uh, thousands of years ago? Oh, but I am forgetting myself. First, I must thank you properly for your help. It might seem an odd way of rewarding you, but please take this Pokemon as my thanks. And, well, he has a question mark, and of course we don't have enough space right here, so we need to make some space. And, of course, something about some ruffians. He's like, they wanted to know uh, about the extreme weather conditions that ruled thousands of years ago because of those super, two super ancient Pokemon. One that pair was uh, one of the pair was the legendary Pokemon we know as the mighty Kyogre. By absorbing the energy of the abounds or that abounds in the natural world, Kyogre transformed itself, or so it was said. The transformed Kyogre caused so much disturbance to the weather patterns that the world was assaulted by torrential rains and the seas rose around the planet. We refer to this transformation as primal reversion. It's a result, or its result is the terror we call Primer Kyogre. Primal reversion is a possible form of evolution, like, and not yet, like, you know, mega evolution. Or it has been theorized, but it has never been achieved by any uh, Pokemon other than the super ancient legendary Pokemon, and so it has been largely forgotten as a method of evolution. If you excuse us, then, we'll be heading downstairs now, but, nah, but talk to us when you have a moment. We want to thank you as well. Ah, yes, we will be coming back, and, well, let's go right ahead and switch out the Pokemon so we can get this particular Pokemon that, you know, he, he wants to give us. Alrighty, so, let's see, there's a PC right here, you know, first is first, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Alright, there you go, heal up our Pokemon, and, well, let's go right ahead and start switching out our Pokemon. Let's go and organize a Pokemon box, and let's see. For right now, let's go ahead and put Lady Colo back into the PC, and let's go ahead and grab the Pokemon in question right here. So let's see, going back here, and back up, and well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I would still like to thank you somehow for your help. Uh, for your help, I would like to uh, like for you to take this Pokemon in your team. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a cast form. And would you like to nickname this cast form? No. Okay. So this cast form right here is a Pokemon that changes its form according to the current weather conditions. We might, or we have many cast form living here in the institute with us. They help us with our research of weather phenomena. That's cool. That is great. Now the good thing about the great thing about cast form is that this one right here, it does change with the weather, and it is well equipped with something else, and that is, let's see, yes, let's go ahead and grab this item, take this, and we get ourselves a mystic water, and, well, let's go right ahead and put this guy back into the PC, and we got one last thing to do before we finish off this episode. You guys already know it. You guys are going to love it. So, let's go right here. And let's go ahead and go straight across this bridge right here. Because we already know what's going to happen next. We go up here. We're going to get called upon by our girlfriend herself. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Draven. Gosh, were you having, were, where have you been hiding? I've been looking all over for you. Oh, where did you get that thing on your wrist? That's a pretty fancy uh, looking uh, bracelet. Wow, that's a mega bracelet? And you could use mega evolution? I guess now you can keep, uh, or you can keep getting even closer to your Pokemon, huh? Some guys just have all the luck. But I'm not, all, I'm not about to lose to you and some accessory. Let's see who the best in battle is. Are your Pokemon ready? Of course they are. Let's go. Alrighty. So let's finish it off right here. Okay, so here it is guys another Pokemon battle against mm, our girlfriend May and yes She is coming out with yeah a shroomish This is going to be this is gonna be quite the thing now She's gonna be noticing the Pokemon we have right now, and that is good old uh, Latia, so let's go straight bam Bam for a miss ball and it misses so let's go one more time 
And just like that, bam, another victory for us. And it's truly unfair with, with us having this Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for Olay and see what Olay can do right here. Olay is looking pretty uh, fantastic. So Slugma, bring it out. And it is a, it, it, it literally is in it, its wrong environment because it's literally raining right now. So here we go. Damn, Surf Attack for the win. That's how we do it, okay. And well, there goes Gaia with level 42. And she's gonna be coming out with a Marshomp. This is a little bit different. The only problem is, like, the messed up part is that I don't have a grass type move for this Pokemon just yet. And, well, let's go ahead and switch it out to Gaia the Fierce Knight. Marshomp right here. Looking very beefy and very strong. So, protect it will. Holy crud. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and use another Dazzling Gleam. Yes, I'm trying to overkill right here, so... There you go. Dazzling Gleam does the trick. And there we go. We get some more points. And just like that, we defeat our girlfriend. Mm, 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 mm. He's like, hey, you're as strong as I expected, Draven. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, as you guys can see, she's like, hmm, well, you did you did battle me like I asked, so I, I, I'll i give you a reward. And there it is, guys. We grabbed ourselves the HMO2 Fly. If you use Fly, your Pokemon will carry you back to anywhere you've seen that you've been ref before. But you must have the Gym Badge from the Fortree City Gym to use it outside of battle. That's the most imbi important bit, so don't forget. Maybe you'll use Fly to, or maybe you'll fly home and visit Little Root sometimes. I bet your mom worries about you, Draven. Well, till we meet next time, and next time I won't lose. Hmm. Now, fun tidbit right here, guys. Fly in this game, it's not. It is not going to be. Yeah, it's not going to be useful at all because something in this game, a mechanic, changes the whole aspect of this thing. So what we're gonna do right here, guys, is we're gonna pause the game. And then we're going to head on over to Fortree City because we got something that we want to do off screen. And, well, it's a long time coming. But you will have to find out in the next episode. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.